I realized though at one point that the glass ceiling was on top of my head Mm. and that he was never going to leave or I shouldn't say never going to leave although he didn't leave but that was his career that was his love and he wasn't going to retire or step aside he was a young man so that wasn't on that wasn't really realistic for me so I did go to my tribal school and serve as the CEO there for a while and then a tribal college presidency came open and I thought you know this is what I tell young Native people, but I would tell young women like yourself, you get to aspire to be an executive. You get to aspire to take what you've learned and apply that in a leadership role. That was hard to do because we often, as women, and I think as people of color, and the message doesn't even have to be like, you know, blatantly stated. (laughs) It can just be the subtle message that society gives you that you're not good enough or that people are going to find out. That whole imposter thing, when that first kind of started getting named, that imposter syndrome, that people are going to find out you're not really that good. That has a lot of power. And that kind of happened to me. And I told myself, you know what? You can be that good. You can take your vision and apply it. And so giving myself that permission was very powerful. 